Hi folks, I'm Farmer Tom and welcome to another week, oh bless you, of lockdown learning. It's going to be a beautiful week, we're forecast blue skies and sunshine uh, most of the week and whilst it's been a bit chilly this weekend, it's going to be scorchio next weekend. And this is the week we're going to be looking at arable farming in particular. And so what I've got here is I've got some examples of some plants that we grow as arable farmers and I thought we'd have a little look uh, and investigate further. And then during this week we'll see from dozens of other farmers around the UK and further afield uh, and we'll see what they're doing in their arable fields. So first up. I'm growing some samples here and first up I've got a crop of spring barley. You'll see uh, it's about 20 centimetres tall and it's just starting to really shoot on up. These are the stalks that are going to eventually have ears on the end when they grow up. So they're really shooting up. They've grown fast in the last few weeks. Uh, this barley will go to, uh, to produce beer, uh, or we always, although we also use barley to produce um, animal feed and Maltesers. If you like Maltesers, this is where they come from. Moving on, we've then got some beans. These are beautiful. They were gonna come into flower in the next few weeks. So they'll have a really beautiful flower. But again, like the barley, they're shooting on up. Um, and they actually look like it could do with a drop of rain. I might have to get the watering can out today uh, and give them a little bit of rain. Some farmers perhaps would irrigate, uh, irrigate their beans so they'd, so they'd use water, they'd spray water on the fields. Um, but most of us uh, rely on the rain to come. So um, uh, they're looking a little bit dry. Um, beans, uh, some of the beans go for human consumption. So that means uh, um, they'll be um, in various different dishes, potentially all around the world. A lot of our beans in the UK go to North Africa, um, but they're also used in some cases in animal feed. Moving on then, we've got um, a, a crop of linseed here. You can see that again. The, uh, this linseed has really shot up in the last couple of weeks. We've had this nice hot sunny weather and a bit of rain uh, and it's really shot on. And actually, I think by the end of this week, we might see some lovely blue flowers, kind of similar to the color of that door uh, on this linseed. So that's really lovely. This linseed, um, our linseed typically goes to France to bread making, um, although it can be used in lots of other things. Some people put linseed uh, in its raw form on their breakfast cereal. Uh, to help make them more healthy. It's a fantastic, wonderful crop. Um, uh, our fourth crop of six today are these oats. They look very similar to the, the barley at the moment. They're really shooting on up. Um, but when they come into ear, which will happen uh, in, in a couple of weeks, that's when they start to produce the actual seeds. Then you'll see how different they look uh, to the barley. So they look fairly similar at the moment, but within a couple of weeks, they'll start to look very, very different. And in some farmers' fields, they may already be starting to come into ear. So you'll perhaps see some examples this week. Follow the hashtag lockdown learning. Uh, our penultimate plant uh, are these peas. Uh, they've, been, they've been growing underneath this... this um, wisteria so they've got a, a little bit of wisteria blossom on them but they're really starting to look very pea-like. Uh, peas are legumes uh, and as farmers we know that that means that they take nitrogen from the atmosphere and they put it into the soil so that's really really helpful for us. It's fantastic at uh, improving the soil and so um, it's always good to have a crop of peas in. Uh, these are looking particularly well, and like the beans, they'll probably come into flower in the next week or so. So we'll perhaps check in at the end of this lockdown learning week on arable farming, and we'll see if the beans or perhaps the linseed uh, or the peas have come into flower. And last, but certainly not least, because it's probably one of the most uh, widely grown plants um, in British farming is this. This is a wheat. Um, wheat, as you'll know, goes to make bread. Um, but it also has many, many other uses, from feeding animals to feeding your car. It goes into, um, uh, goes into the production of bioethanol. Uh, and again, this wheat is really shooting on. It doesn't look quite, like, quite as well as the barley, um, but that's okay. That's perhaps what the wheat looks like at this time. Um, and it's nice and green, which to me means it's, uh, it's pretty healthy. Sometimes we watch our plants very, very carefully to see if they have any disease or infections, or if they're, you know, like us, they might be lacking in certain nutrients and we watch them very, very closely. And I can see that this wheat is pretty green. Uh, it's a nice green color. Uh, there, there isn't any infection or disease on it. Um, but again, this week you might see examples of farmers showing you how they deal with, um, uh, with infections or disease uh, or, or, or a lack of nutrients. Uh, so yeah, so watch the hashtag follow lockdown learning this week uh, and you'll see some great examples from arable farmers all over the world. Um, there are many, many other plants grown uh, in arable farming than these six, but these would be perhaps the main six. So it's a really, really exciting week and I'm glad to have you along. Uh, so tune in and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.